It's very lucky all of a sudden. What is this? Twall's class only store? Yes! Oh, this is the class store you guys were talking about. Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers. My name is Games Kicks, and welcome back to Smarter Days to Die. We're playing 7 Days to Die modded, and we're continuing with War of the Walkers 5.2. We blundered this whole pirate ship as you guys wanted to do, and there's a couple of things which we're gonna do now with the loot uh, before we're gonna go to the trader as well that we're gonna have to play around. But more so, there is a building somewhere in the background here, and I believe it is this building here. I could be wrong. I'm gonna have to find it, which is a building that you guys asked me to look at. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I think it's one of the new POIs as well, but we're gonna check it out. Hopefully it is one of those because I can't wait to find all the new POIs. But either way, whatever we're gonna do, I hope you guys are gonna enjoy the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. Okay, we're a little bit cold, so the coffee should hopefully help to give us some heat. Oh, we're still losing heat. I have no clothes. <laughs> I have no clothes. I made chests down here basically sorting out everything uh, that we looted. Now, um, ammunition here, shotgun. We don't really need the shotgun right now. We're going to leave it here. This is all the clothes we have. I'm going to take them with me now in a second. I just want to bring all of that. Um, oh, I just want to have all of that together. There we go. This is our gun parts. We're going to put our scope in there as well. I don't think we can assemble them yet or disassemble them yet. But you guys were correctly saying that if I go to the guns and I change ammunition, I should be able to take all the bullets out, which is actually something I should be doing um, anyway, seeing that um, we're going to sell all the guns. But we obviously want to keep all the bullets. Like, you know, maybe if they give us a lot of money for it, like, sure, yeah, we can sell them as well. But um, food, there we go. Here's all our food stuff. Sorry, I just had to really quickly go through it again now everything sorted out this is where we have all our clothes now you guys were saying that instead of selling them for 139 92 whatever 160 each you can merge them together now these oh this one actually has a helmet plus a torch already on it are you kidding me and forged iron to repair where's forged iron no look at that can we repair that <gasps> oh are you kidding me that is awesome yeah, baby, look at that. Where's our body? Nice. That is awesome. That is so totally cool. We have our gas mask banded now. Gas mask now. And everything else. That is insane. Oh, this is really good. I like it. I love it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take um, these parts. I think I can actually repair them. If I have forged iron, then I'm going to go and actually repair them before I merge them together because that makes them even more valuable. I think so we're gonna take these guys with us and um, this one I can leave here now and we're going to take um, the guns because I want to take all the ammunition out so let's see if that is actually true I know it does it works with some guns but not necessarily with all guns so let's try that out okay nice Oh, that is brilliant. So we just changed ammunition type. And we got all the bullets out. That is so cool. All right. I'm playing around with a lot of things here on the workbench, combining items, all that jazz. I was just in there and kind of played around with it a little bit to try to get a feeling for it. And um, I'm going to have to say I do disagree in combining items. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know you're going to have a field day on this one, but... Um, Combining items, in my opinion, you should only do if you want to improve the items you're using. So say, for example, I'm crafting 10 iron reinforced clubs, merge them all together to get an iron reinforced club of level 150. If I can merge them to that level. Absolutely fine. That's what we're going to do. And brilliant. We have a good high level item we can use and we smash somebody's head in. The same with the bow, the same with guns, the same with anything. Yeah. But some of the comments were also saying, oh, you should merge them together to make them value more valuable. Well, that kind of is true, not true, yeah? Because say, for example, this is the best example that could come across, yeah? These two items here, yeah? They're two chests. They individually sell for 189 and 79. So say 80 and 190, yeah? That's together 190 and 80, 270. This final item is only 260. So absolutely no point merging them together. Fair enough, you could argue saying, hey, it's only 10 gold tokens, you know, like just do it for space reasons, yeah? Yeah, but then you defeat the whole purpose that you said merge them together to make more money. 
that's kind of going against it. So we're going to leave them individually. The same happens with all the other items, even small items like that. The only time where it gets very close, but again, you're not getting ever a profit. And I think there's a reason for it in the game mechanic, yeah, is because what you're doing here, when you look at the level, you only get to level 26 because what you're really doing is you're repairing the other glove. So what you're really doing is setting this glove to its maximum value, which never ever will be more than the other item that you're merging in. Okay, unless the other item is completely nearly broken, but then you're barely fixing this and you're not going to get the value of it either. So these two are 92 and 100. So say 140 and 90, so that's 230. This is 209. There is absolutely no need. The only time maybe you get close to is if you have these two items here, because what this is really doing is this scope is so, so broken that it's only worth 107. And this scope is worth 173. So this together is 280. And the final item here is 280. So you really are not making any money. Yeah. And this is only because the item you're merging in is so terribly broken that it barely does it has any effect. And it doesn't actually raise the level even out of the item. So you still end up with 21, but just barely fixed. So it's even worse. So the only time, like I said, where I would feel like merging things together makes sense is if you want to improve the items you are wearing or the items you have on you. Um, guns also don't make sense. Uh, these two guns, for example, they reflect the value of the parts. So this gun is worth 709. The grip, the receiver, the part, the barrel, if you add them all together, you get basically the value of the gun. And merging these two together, there is no way they end up in a pistol worth 1500 if a 245 pistol, which this is not going to get to, is only worth 888. So you can see that merging for value is not really that applicable across the board you might find items where it is and if you find them let me know because i would be interested in checking them out but overall i don't think it's worth it so let's go to the trader first which is going to be here that's going to be our morning run and then we're going to head over here where there is a building that i want to check out because you guys were saying that it is one of the new pois that i probably find very interesting so anyway sorry about all this waffle with the money but i just felt i wanted to go over it because i do enjoy the comments and i really i was playing around with it for about 10 minutes before i did the cut there a second ago and i was thinking yeah that doesn't seem to work because i thought it would but it doesn't so well like I said, you can argue about all that in the comments. I think we're going to get our final kill now in this quest. That would be awesome. Let me see. There we go. Nice. And here we go. Final kill. Because we have to kill him with the, with the bat. Nice. Oh, that is awesome. So now we have two of five done. Now it's three of five. What is three of five? Let me see. Oh, there. Gather forged iron. Gather wood. Craft a hunting knife. And repair a hunting knife. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't think we can craft a hunting knife yet. I don't think that's a thing. Ooh. He was moving around. There we go. Nice. And now we don't have to worry about killing them with our bat anymore. Because we can just take them apart. Now, let's get some wood. Also, you guys were saying about the collecting quests, yeah? So, to a lot of people, it actually made sense. And thinking about it in hindsight, it does have a ring of sense to it. It just is weird because I don't... I think naturally you wouldn't expect it unless you really think about it. Um, so, a lot of people were saying, well, most of the things that you're supposed... That you collect, you're supposed to use to craft the items. So, if you log in and you don't have the items in your inventory anymore, then... Um, you know, it makes sense for the quest to re reset the counter because it needs you to have these items in your inventory to craft the other items. Yeah, would you stop shooting? Now, while that makes absolute sense in a lot of ways, so what I think they should change then is that if I do this now, it should straight away change the counter to zero of eight because why wait until I log back in? I think that's the confusing part. So the bug either way is that it either shouldn't adjust the values and tell you it's your own problem or which probably is more correct. Um, in hindsight, I suppose I agree with it because it is kind of making sense. If it wants to really ensure you have the items, the moment you reduce that count in your inventory or anywhere, it should reduce it straight away in the quest. So that should be the book then, that they should fix it, that it should always update the count, even if you already passed the count. Okay, here's our trader now. We had nice more waffle. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. He should be open. Yeah. Love it. Always close the door. 
You're not safe in here. If a dog or a zombie gets in, they will come in and they will attack you. They'll kill you right in here. They don't have an issue with that. Okay, At so... Least wipe that shit off your boots before you come I'm going to sell shop. these guys first because they level up everything really, really quite fast. And let me see. We have money, which I like to sell individually as well. I think we did a test that half a stack or something of 250 uh, is like worth one level bar or something like that. Anyway, so we have a good bit of money now. So let's see what can we sell. Do we actually, no can we make a hunting knife? Is that done. something we can now make? Beat it, oh, we fucker. can. Excellent. Do you know what? Because then we might as well craft that straight away. I didn't know we can actually make it. Oh, do we have toolsmithing? Can we level toolsmithing up or weaponsmithing? Oh, we can. Okay, do you know what? Let's cancel this. Go into weaponsmithing, spend the three points, spend the six points, and spend the six points. And now I would like you to make that hunting knife because at least now it's going to be absolutely worth something Put when it's done. Put your weapon unless you'd like to die. Oh, would you store. stop moaning? Here we go. Can you sell that? No. Now, let's sell this helmet, definitely, for sure. Um, sell the gun. Does the gun give us actually a full level? Is that so? Well, let me let see. The door hit you on your way out. So this is level 24. It's always maxed. Okay, so I think it might be a waste okay, fucker. if we you respect the shop rules. We sell this we'll now. This will only go up to one level max, and that's because in general I think no matter how much you sell it will only maximum go one level at a time so that's why it, i sell every individually so what i want to test now is if i sell this in parts individually Damn, there we go you smell like the dead so i'm selling this you better have money look it went up already Cha -ching. Thanks, it, it went up already Look at this. So absolutely worth it. Sell them individually. There you go, 27. So if we would have sold the whole gun, it would have went up one level. But selling the parts individually like that is much better. There you go. I believe he still has the same items actually than before. So what I'm going to do is I went to his uh, secret stash because we have the money and I'm going to buy the steel. We can't make the steel machete anyway, but I'm going to buy these two. Um, I'm probably going to find them and it could Shit, turn out to be a waste man, of money, I but I want to make sure that I can actually craft them tippy. when, as soon as possible because I need them. I'm probably going to find some. It's a waste of time, but I like being self-sufficient, not relying on um, fortune or RNG. So let's see if we can actually make them. Duster, that's what it was called. Chinima, couldn't remember. We can craft it. Excellent. So all we need is leather and dice. So that is really, really cool. I like it. So we actually were able to be able to craft it straight in our inventory. So that was worth the purchase, in my opinion, because all we need is dye and dye we find pretty much anywhere. So this is the building over there that you guys were talking about. But I think it's just a plain building. We'll see. We'll see. I think it's just a plain building, but somebody said it's one of the new POIs. And so I'm not trying to get too excited just yet. Um, we'll see. Actually, before we head down as well, I made um, a lot of tools. And we're also going to get some forged iron here, actually, from uh, ooh, from this guy here. So we can do the quest and finish the quest here. So let me just hit something. There we go. And my knife should be should be broken ever so slightly. And yeah, we only need one workbench. That's fine. So here we go. I think we only need one. There we go. Repair. Excellent. And now we finished the quest. That is absolutely fantastic. Now, what we are going to do with this is we're going to merge together our guys here. Our scrap irons. I made three of them. We're going to use our existing one. There you go, 183. We could probably have made four. I think the highest we can make is 50 over our current limit, which means, or, yeah, 50. So there we go, 159, 194, and 189. So I think we could have merged one more to get a higher level one, but this is very good. I like that. So we did that, and... What is the quest? Kill any zombie again. Let me see here. Kill any zombie holding any knife type weapon. Awesome. So there we go. Look at that. This is going to become our main weapon now. Also, a few of you were saying like, oh, Bill, take your land claim block and put it down and pick these up. 
You can't, unless the mod changed that intentionally because uh, in vanilla it's not a thing anymore. It was at the beginning of Alpha 16, but I think the very first patch uh, they applied 16.1, I could be wrong on that though, um, fixed it and it's not a thing anymore. The, you can only pick up uh, workbenches that other people have placed um, or you place yourself. Now, I think if other people place them, they have to be your allies or friends, otherwise you can't. So something like that. So for multiplayer, of course. But um, these benches, if the world spawned in, then you shouldn't be able to pick them up. A lot of them are fake anyway. Um, like I said, maybe in this mod it's different that these particular workbenches are actually considered player place workbenches. But I'm not going to waste a hundred for forged iron block right now to try that out. Okay, doggy time. Where is he? Is he just standing there like a plank? Where is he? There you go. Oh, he's angry. Oh, we have to. We can't miss him. We're not allowed to miss him. That's the problem. There we go. Run, 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 run. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I had bad experiences in the past with um, dogs. Okay, we're gonna have to kill zombies with our knife. This is the building there, by the way. I'm picking up all the yoga because we can make yoga juice from that, which is quite handy. I also have some beers on me so we don't uh, go low on stamina. And the frames just went absolutely to shit. Um, not the frames, but the lag. Oh my god, what is this building? That's like a full iron building. So let's see here. Go down on your knees. Go down on your knees. Th come on, can you go down? There we go, nice. Excellent. Okay, excellent. That counts as a kill. Lovely. Oh, it's very lucky all of a sudden. What is this? Dwarves class only store? Yes! Oh, this is the class store you guys were talking about. You were saying to me in the comments that it is the class store, that it could be the class store. And I don't want to get my hopes up, so I was like, okay, whatever. Can we just use a knife? How, how badass is that we just use a knife like that? I mean, we basically, they, they, they should do it that if you do that with a knife, that it just cuts right through here and the head just goes floop. <laughs> All right, let's look at this. Oh, man, loving it. Loving the sight. It is just fantastic. Let's have a look. Is this like a trader POI? Can you? Wow. This is amazing. Can we loot any of these? Oh, I knew it. Oh, I knew it. We can't. It's, it's like a traitor. Oh, man. This is amazing. F M S S B S S M F T P E C. I have no idea. Okay, let's see. I assume. Oh, tradesman class. Yes. So why do we have S S? So this is the scholar class. Survivalist class. Well, you see, with one letter that doesn't work as well, but I do like that they put the books here for the scholar. Can you loot them? Oh, they're non lootable blocks. They're just painted. Oh, that is sick. I love it. Survivalist class, builder class. That's just a normal vending machine. Builder class. Let's see. Oh, can we buy things? No. Even though we're not actually a builder. That is insane. Okay. Let's see here. Wow. Oh, that's the that's but that's a different vending machine. So, and they reset on day eight. So we have a survivalist class. I think we need that for quests. Oh, hang on a second here. Let let's get smart about this. Okay. Okay, that's different. That's when we get into the Iron Age. Gather leather. Gather, craft a leather cloth. We already did that. Craft leather boots. So we need, you see, this is where it's confusing. Remember we said earlier on, oh yeah, of course it has to reset. It has to make sure that you actually have all these items to craft all this. I already crafted the leather cloths. I already crafted the leather boots. It's not resetting the points. It doesn't say now, oh, zero of 20 or zero of 28, whatever is left. It's zero of 35. And that's why I think it's a bug. And that's why I think it should remember how much you had collected. And if you happen to craft all this without getting 35 leather because you did it over two parts of logging in, it should complete the quest. So in my case, it, 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 I th this is broken. 
Whichever way it has to be fixed, I don't know. Whatever is right, I don't know. But it has to take into consideration what you already crafted. Or it just simply says you had 35 in your inventory, done. If you lose them, your problem. Which I think probably is the easier way of looking at it or fixing it. So let me just check here. Aloe cream. Because I remember something about aloe cream. That is kill wild animals. We're going to have that soon. Oh, the covert class and the marksman class are actually about killing animals. That is very interesting. So we gather six plastic and glue. Do we have glue, plastic, and then we can craft a mortar and pastel. That is interesting. Is there no other part where I thought we have to make aloe cream or something? Protection class, yeah. Oh no, it might be the next the next quest after that. Okay, fair enough. And I think we have to make the actual aloe cream. We have to craft it, not collect it. A leg booster is actually very handy, but it's... Oh, it only costs one. Okay. Because that, that heals a broken leg and everything. That is awesome. And how much do they cost? 10? Okay. Iron arrows? 180 for 25 each. It's 900. Oh, we're gonna go back to that. That is awesome. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, trauma first aid kit. Are you kidding me? Trauma bandages? That is so cool. I'm not gonna go crazy right now to buy all of that. I just want to see what else we have. Pipe bombs? Oh, yeah, but they're 41 each. And then we have seeds. That's very good. If you can't make the seeds yourself, you can actually buy them here. That is so sweet. They have blueprint paper. Yeah, 250 each because they don't want you to buy them and then sell them at the trade. It's like, oh, look what I found. Okay, marksman class. That is the interesting one. Gunsmithing. Look at that. Gunsmithing. Ooh, hang on a second here. That is going to be an expensive perk. We're going to buy that. Oh, yeah. We are so going to buy that. And we're actually going to buy some repair kits as well. Nah, maybe not. <laughs> um, Beretta shotgun, that would be tempting. But let's not go nuts. Let's just say no to everything for now. Okay, that's just more of the same. The reason I bought this is because when the perk gets really expensive, where each point costs like 12 or 24, even... 36 points that's when we're going to use the magazine okay that's the fighter class which is actually the one that we're currently fin finishing oh gold tip knife hunting knife book we already know that that is so awesome we should probably get some forged steel i don't know i'm tempted oh weaponsmithing yes absolutely because the same thing applies look at this weaponsmithing there it's already at six points i usually go and say i spent up to six points Everything above six points, I want to find um, these magazines. And they sell them there, which is great. Oh, Forge Tungsten, that is so sweet. Now, man. Yeah, I'm not going to buy anything. I know a lot of these weapons are absolutely balls. Like, I mean, this Machidi here right now, it's only 90, but it does 10.16 uh, damage. What else did we have here? Oh, that was a schematic. Okay. This is very nice. Oh, man. A gold... What? Is, actually, do you know what? I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy this because... I want to know what it is we need for it because we have gold. We found gold. Oh, no. I can't read it yet. Oh, no. Gold tip knife. There's something I'm missing. What am I missing? Fighter class master. We have to become... A, but that's good. Once we're master in the fighter class, we're going to get this and we're going to learn it. End of story. That's going to be awesome. So it wasn't really a waste of money unless I find one now. <laughs> oh, that is very good. But look at this 10,000. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. But we can get them. We have, a, we have a wrench. Anyway, I hope you guys don't mind me looking through all this because I want to show you guys as well, like, you know, what it is you can buy in there. Um, eco engine, very good. And that is the tradesman vending machine. Very nice. And then the protection class. Of course, for armor and everything. That makes absolute sense. And all of them actually seem to be having tungsten. And well, the crafting ones anyway. Excellent stuff. And what do we have here? The electrician class. Look at this. Electric components. Elect oh, man. That is so sweet. Now, I'm assuming all this becomes cheaper when you actually progress in the class. Auto turrets. Ready-made auto turrets. How awesome is that? This is just amazing. All we need to do is buy ammunition. That is so cool. A HD generator. Oh, man. Look at that shotgun. 
that is so mad. We we uh, we could afford actually buying them. Well, nearly. We could we could we can definitely afford to buy two shotgun turrets for the first horde night. But I don't want to. It's I, I like to have my own challenge for the moment. Um, covert class. Let's see. Oh, look at all these gears. Oh, lock picks. Would we be able to use them if we buy them? I wonder. There's no secret stash. It's actually the door ones. I'm not too worried about because we usually can smash them open. It, they, there's only rarely any circumstance where you have this big vault door that you have to open. But I like the... Oh, look at the military vests. Oh, my lord. That is so awesome. What am I wearing in the moment? I'm wearing a military vest. Military gloves. I'm already all pimped out. Actually, legs and boots. If we have any legs and boots here, please. Do we have any legs? We have boots. Look at that. Military boots. Yeah, I take them. Thank you very much. Yeah, I buy them. And do we have any legs here? There we go. Thank you very much. 443. That's 2,000. That's 2,600. <laughs> I don't even have that anymore. Oh, my dear Lord. I splurged. No, I splurged. Just for what? For semi-good shoes. Oh, no. Okay, this is really awesome, guys. The workbench. This is so cool. Look at that. We got some broken glass. Whatever. Don't care. Is there anything in here? No. So you could actually set up in here as a base as well. You already have all these things. Look at this. I mean, this was a workbench which destroyed. Um, this is a working forge. That is amazing. Oh, man. This is a really, really cool POI. Can we loot any of these? Get some coins, maybe? So we can... Ah! Holy shit. I didn't realize there was somebody there. Oh, my God. He gave me such a heart attack. I... Oh, my. I just saw him moving... Whoa. All prices are fair. That is cool. Here. So I can sell you that. That is nice. Thank you. And what do you, what do you want for this? <laughs> I'm going to sell you my glass shards. Okay. Do you want my gun? Actually, do you know what? If you buy my gun Thank parts now, that would be answer. awesome because you're a different trader. So the limit shouldn't apply to you. Let me see. Your money is welcome here. Yes, he's buying. Because the other trader was all maxed out, so we couldn't continue with selling. That is... Oh, no, no, no. You, you're naughty. Why did you? That is so naughty. Anyway, we're 3,800. We can buy those pants now, dude. Look at that. He's selling rebar frames like mentally. He's re he is selling all those chemicals. That is insane. Resources, clothing... Do you have any legs? Iron boots? No, I have iron boots. That's fine. Signs? Snowbridge juice trauma X. That is excellent stuff. Look at that. There's an iron pick, but we have to craft one, I think, ourselves. It doesn't count if you find one. So, armor, pistols, everything. Is there any melee weapons, actually? Look at this. Iron reinforced club. Yeah, baby. That is a really high level one. And it's only 502. Oh, we're going to check the other machine again just uh, uh, later on, like, uh, on the way out to make sure that there was no higher one. But that is really cool. Thank you so much, guys, for actually reminding me of that. And what is here in the secret stash? Steel gloves, whatever. They're actually quite cheap, steel gloves. Holy balls. Kevlar boots. We already have the boots. It's leg armor we're after. Flaming arrow schematic. We already know that. This, we don't know, but I don't want to waste the money on that. That is really cool. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. That was place. really, really sweet. Thank you, you so much, guys, for there. showing me, um, for reminding me, actually, that that box was in the back because I was like, oh, could it be the clasp thing? I don't know. This is so awesome. Look at this. This is all steel. I wonder if it is like a trader, actually, that it will close like at night. That is awesome. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel spaß and happy gaming. Okay, this is how it's going to go. We sell only the best merchandise. We're going to buy this crossbow in preparation for uh, crossbow bolts. And we can craft them, but we need to get the... You come back sometime. Let me see. Crossbow bolts. He has the iron ones. That's the one we actually uh, need. But that's like... Oh, we can buy all 100 for 1,350. That's actually very good. I think I'm going to do that. Excellent. So that's us already prepared for crossbow Thank balls. That's sweet. Check and...
then we're gonna go to here and get this barbed club because that barbed club is better than the iron reinforced version the iron reinforced version did only 10 damage this one does 12 so we're gonna buy that that is so sweet and now we're gonna go back to this guy and sell him back that club so that was like. so totally worth it absolutely worth it nice